much. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Yoga Therapy brought to you by UCLA Health Integrative Medicine Collaborative. My name is Julie, and I'm here to guide you today as we explore the parts of the body, the systems of the body that are working. So we're going to focus on the positive today. Feel free to practice standing or seated in a chair. Both options are correct. And where, whichever you've chosen, let's start by bringing consciousness to the body. Looking down at the feet, make sure that your feet are hip width apart, either seated or standing. If you're standing, point the tailbone down toward the floor. If you're seated, push the hips into the chair. Let's bring the hands to the front of the body so that the palms are facing the thighs. Dropping the shoulders now, most of the time the shoulders are elevated and we they tend to elevate and turn inward. So we're trying to set up some correction here using the physical body. Slightly pull the chin back so that you feel a lengthening in the back of the neck, either seated mountain pose or standing mountain pose. Take a moment here to dedicate this time entirely to you, entirely to the practice of stress management, focusing on our ability to rest, digest, renew, which requires your active participation. From here, bring your awareness to the cyclical nature of the breath without consciously breathing in and out. Just noticing, noticing the quality of the breath, And now consciously breathing in and out, inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils with the breath initiating in the abdominal region. Set a rhythm and a pace that you can maintain with effort, but not too much effort. So no wasted energy. And notice how this is unique to you and unique to the moment. And oftentimes just by bringing consciousness to something, right now it's the breath, it tends to slow down. We tend to return to the pace of nature. 30 seconds more, focusing on the breath. A quote from mindfulness teacher, John Kabat-Zinn, as long as you are breathing, there is more right with you than wrong with you. And let's begin following this breath with movement. With your inhale, separate the palms toward the screen and lift the chin. And with your exhale, take the hands and slide them down. If you're standing, bend in the knee. This is the opening posture with your inhale opening and with your exhale flex or fold. The same as you chose a rhythm and a pace for the breath, choose a rhythm and a pace for this first gliding posture. The gliding postures are great for nerve health. Remembering to let the hands glide down the thigh to the knee as you come into flexion. And with extension, opening the fingers as wide as you can. One more, just like this. As you return to the neutral position, bringing the hands down by the side of the body, take an inhale here. And on your exhale, once again, glide. The right hand comes up, the left hand comes down. Inhale, center. And exhale, reach for the side. If you're sitting in the chair, notice that moment when the hand leaves the body. 
And if you're standing, try to keep the hand gliding down the side of the upper leg. Do more like this in the lateral flexion. One more on each side as you come back to the center. Take a deep inhale and sigh it out. Two more like that, inhaling. Last one. With your inhale circle sweep, reach the arms up and clasp the hands. You can have a bend in the elbow, but you wanna flip the palms up toward the screen. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, we're gonna crescent toward the right. Inhale as you come through center and exhale crescent to the left. Continue on your own equal pressure on both feet. Definitely pushing the hips to the opposite side of the bend. Keeping the hips facing forward. So we've got respiratory system here, musculoskeletal system, circulatory system, always working to maintain balance. Let's do one more time on each side. As you let the hands fall down by the side of the body, either seated or standing, we're going to bend the right knee so that the right toes come down to the ground. So if you're standing, this is gonna require some balance. You can come to the side of the chair or stand in front of the chair. For kick standing, we're gonna lift this right foot off of the ground. And let's rotate this right ankle left and right, right and left. So we're completing the joint release here, getting the hip, the knee, the ankle, and then come into a hold. If you're seated, you can grab onto the back of that right hamstring. And if you're standing, if you have a good sense of balance, maybe grabbing onto that right foot, bringing the right knee toward the right armpit as you breathe. A deep inhale and exhale, release the right foot. We'll go to the opposite side now. If you're standing, again, you can stand in front of the chair. You can come to the left side with the left hand on the chair. Bending the right knee now, you can start with the foot down. Make sure the tailbone is still pointing down toward the floor. And let's rotate this left ankle, right and left, left and right. Coming into an isometric hold, lifting the knee toward the left armpit. Staying as tall as you can, not bending or letting the chin jut forward. You want that chin slightly tucked back. And once again, you can grab onto the hamstring here, seated, clasping, maybe standing, clasping, or maybe keeping that left hand on the chair. Make sure you're breathing in and out. We're holding the pose, not holding the breath. When we are stressed, we hold the breath. So we're keeping that sense of flow. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, release the left foot. Returning to in front of the chair if you're at the side, we'll practice sun salutations now. Greeting the sun and creating some heat. With every exhale, releasing muscle tension, releasing stress hormones. With your inhale, circle through, reach up. And with your exhale, fold forward. With your inhale, come halfway up and exhale, fold. Bend to the knee if you're standing. Inhale, circle through, reach up. And exhale, press the palms in front of your heart. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Drop the hands, reach. Exhale, swan dive as you follow the breath down. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Bend in the knee, circle sweep, reach up. Press the palms together and exhale, hands at your heart. Take a deep inhale here and exhale. Last one, circle sweep, reach. 
Exhaling, folding the breath down. Inhale, come halfway up and exhale down. Bend in the knee, circle sweep, reach all the way up. And exhale, close the pose, hands at your heart. A few deep inhales and exhales here. We'll move into a back bend next, gentle back bend. Bringing the hands down to the chair and holding on to the chair if you're seated. If you're standing, bring the hands to the low back with the fingers pointing down toward the earth. Notice the shoulders here. Again, most of the time they pinch up and rotate inward. You wanna bring the shoulder blades together back behind you, either in the seated or standing cobra. Let's add gliding motion for neck release. With your inhale, lift the chin up. With your exhale, the chin comes to the chest and continue on your own. And the next time the chin comes up, find a comfortable level that you can hold. Just the right amount of tension. So you are discerning here. You've been doing a lot of discerning with the choice of speed of breath, the choice of depth of posture, the choice of seated or standing. This is your superhuman power, your ability to choose what is right and good for you in the moment. A deep inhale here. And on your exhale, we're gonna reverse it by coming into a fold. Either hands on your thighs below the knee, reaching toward the floor, release the head, and let's nod the head, yes. Release the tongue from the roof of the mouth. That's another thing we do when we are stressed. Bend in the knee, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale as you circle sweep, reach all the way up. And exhale, close the pose, hands at your heart. If you're standing, take a moment in appreciation of your ability to stand. Ankles working very hard here to make sure that you are stable. And we'll all return to the seat now, moving the flesh away from the sitting bones so that the tailbone gets a really good connection to the earth. That's another thing we can do to de-stress. The closer we come to the floor, the less stress we feel. Let's practice some more sun salutations here. Inhale as you circle sweep, reach up. Exhale, follow the breath all the way down. Grab onto the right thigh of you as you inhale, lift the chin and the knee. Exhale, bring the forehead toward the knee. Inhale, extend the right leg, flex the foot. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, grab onto the left thigh, lift the left knee up, chin lifts. Exhale, forehead comes toward the knee. Inhale, extend the left leg, flex the foot. And exhale as you fold, release the leg. Inhale, circle sweep, reach and lengthen. And exhale, close the pose, hands to your heart. Take a deep inhale and sigh it out. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, swan dive down. Grab onto the left leg, inhale, lift. Exhale, forehead toward the knee. Inhale, extend the left leg, flex the foot. And exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg comes up, lift the chin. Exhale, forehead toward the knee. Inhale, extend the leg, flex the foot. And exhale, fold. Inhale, circle sweep, reach and lengthen. And exhale, hands to the heart. Take a deep inhale and exhale. One more time on each side. With the inhale, we lengthen. With the exhale, we fold. Grab onto the right leg, lift it up. Exhale, forehead toward the knee. Inhale, extend the left, right leg and flex, exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, forehead toward the knee, maybe touching. Inhale, extend the left leg, flex, and exhale, fold. 
take a sweet reach, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, hands to the heart. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale completely as you fold. Inhale, left leg comes up, extend the chin. Exhale, forehead toward the knee. Inhale, extend the left leg, flex the foot. And exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg comes up, lift. Exhale, forehead toward the knee. Inhale, extend the right leg, flex the foot. And exhale, fold. Inhale, circle sweep, reach up. And exhale, press the palms together, hands at your heart. Inhaling and exhaling here. Notice how you feel after creating heat. You come to the practice seeking change, seeking a down regulation of the sympathetic nervous system and an up regulation of our ability to rest, digest, renew. No change without agitation. We'll practice a seated twist here, releasing the hands down by the chair. Remembering that the open twist, maybe even a little wider, is more friendly for the hip and the low back. So you can certainly practice here. If you'd like a little bit more, you can cross the right knee over the left, maybe even wrapping that right foot behind the left calf muscle. Wherever you are without judgment, just notice what you've chosen. Perhaps noticing your tendency to go to judgment, wondering if you are doing it right. Can't get it wrong because it is your practice. Inhale as you reach the arms up. Exhale, twist toward the right and drop the arms down, drop the shoulders down. Right hand can come to the chair, back behind you, maybe reaching for left hip, and the left arm comes to the right thigh, maybe even making a loose fist with the left hand. Let's bring the chin toward the shoulder, take a deep inhale, exhale, glide the chin toward the left, take a deep inhale, exhale, glide the chin toward the right, Inhale here, exhale as you unwind head, shoulders, and low back, unwinding the legs if they are wound. Inhale, circle sweep, reach, and exhale, forward fold, and we'll hold this fold. Either your hands on your thighs, bringing the chin to the chest so you get a C shape in the spine. Maybe the hands come to the shin, Maybe sliding the hands underneath your feet, coming into a seated child's pose or the embryo pose, the posture of new beginning. Tuck your chin to your chest as you slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Coming back to the seated posture. Decide how you would like to do the twist on the left, either open, wide, or right knee over left knee, maybe tucking back behind that calf muscle. Make sure you're sitting up tall. So twists are really good for the low back, really good for the spine, and we very rarely do it. So let's take advantage of the moment here. With your inhale, reach the arms up to lengthen. And with your exhale, here's the twist that starts in the low back. Make sure the hips stay facing forward. The left hand side of the chair back behind you, maybe reaching for the right hip, maybe making a fist with that right hand at the left thigh. Consciously breathing in and out reduces stress. Drop the tongue from the roof of the mouth reduces stress. Twisting reduces toxicity, a buildup of the stress hormones. Bring the chin toward the left shoulder, take a deep inhale. Exhale, glide the chin slowly toward the right. Take a deep inhale here. 
Exhale, slowly glide the chin in an even plane toward the left. Here is intentional tension, intentional stress. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale as you unwind and return to ease. I'm crossing if the legs are crossed. Inhale, reach. And exhale, here is another forward fold. Make it your own. Feel consciously breathing in and out. Improving lung capacity with the positioning of the body. Coming into the semi-proning position, feeling safe and protected. All of the vital organs shielding, shielded. Tuck the chin to the chest as you slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Practice one more pose here for abdominal strength which helps the low back. Hands down to the side of the chair, pushing away from the back. Let's grab onto the right hamstring and extend the right leg. The so left foot is, sorry, right foot is flexed. And use this opportunity to drop the shoulders down. You might find them here. Okay, make sure you're breathing. On your next inhale, release and reach the arms up. And exhale, hands back. Breathing in and out, we'll do that three more times. With your inhale, keep the legs extended, lift the arms up. With your exhale, return to ease. We'll do one more time like this. With your inhale, tighten up the abdominals, lift the arms. And with your exhale, return to ease. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale, bend the knee and drop the right foot down. Let's go to the other side now, grabbing onto the left ham and extending the left leg, flexing the left foot, tightening up the quadricep muscle in the front of the thigh. That left foot is active. The toes are up toward the ceiling. With your inhale, release and lift up. With your exhale, return. Notice how the muscles are under your control. Musculoskeletal system working. With your inhale, reach up. And with your exhale, return. You breathe in and out. We'll practice that one more time. Inhale, reach and glide. Exhale, back to ease. When we glide, we're also practicing the yoga principle of non-grasping, aparigraha. Take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, bend the left knee and drop the left foot. And see if you can sense a bit of a return to balance as we practice left and right, up and down, extension and flexion. We'll practice this one more time, leaning back on the chair, toes are on the ground. Let's bring the hands to the chair, grabbing on. Now we're gonna try that same thing without the support. We're pointing the toe, one leg at a time. Inhale, extend, exhale, drop. Remember when you drop the foot, only the toe is coming down. Let's do one more time, ending with the left as you come back to center. And now lean back and lift the feet off the ground, looking straight ahead. This is a balance pose. So here we press the tongue to the roof of the mouth to engage the fascia, the inner webbing, balancing on your tailbone. Notice the need for abdominal strength here. This helps the low back. Staying here, or maybe releasing the right arm and the left arm, one arm at a time, or holding on, staying out of judgment. Maybe continuing with this gliding motion, or maybe coming into a hold with the palms facing each other, 
thumbs up toward the ceiling. Breathing in and out, wherever you are. Maybe extending the leg if you're balancing, maybe not. Maybe extending both legs, breathing. And on your exhale, release and come back into a sense of ease. Still consciously breathing in and out. We'll practice the four part breath here before we move into relaxation. Four part breath or box breath is great for reducing stress. Begin to notice the four parts of the breath. It isn't two parts to a breath, it's four. There's the inhale, the pause, the exhale, and the pause. Again, here's that cyclical nature that also teaches us non-grasping. Every inhale, bringing in freshness and newness. And every exhale, releasing the past, releasing that which no longer serves. And here comes the four-part breath. Without holding the breath, inhale, one, two, here's the gap. Exhale, two, one, here's the gap. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, two, one. Continue on your own. You can speed it up or slow it down. And notice how you're able to, when given the opportunity, when given the choice, notice how you're able to choose what is right and correct for you in the moment. One last four part breath here. Take a deep inhale through the nostrils and sigh it out. Let it all go, let everything go as you push back onto the chair, the back of the chair, the hands can rest on the thigh, side of body. Maybe one hand wants to rest and the other wants to be on the side. Maybe the palms facing the thighs, maybe the palms up. Let go of conscious breathing and notice how the respiratory system is always there. The breath is never not here. Sitting in stillness and quiet for about a minute today, doing as best as you can to stay in the moment. Use a phrase today, a mantra to close out our time together. Think about the wisdom of a clock that always tells you exactly what time it is. It is always right now. And think about the wisdom of the body and all of the systems that always know that you are always right here. With every inhale repeating, it is always right now. And with every exhale repeating, I am always right here. Continue on your own. Not consciously breathing, just get a sense of yourself being breathed. It's always right now. I'm always right here. Repeating the mantra one last time. 
and then letting it go and notice how you're able to and let a sense of gratitude wash over you, head to toe, toe to head, sides in front and back, and every point in between. Sense of gratitude washing over every single cell in your beautiful body. Notice how you feel when you are focused on positive thoughts, when you're focused on what is working so much. Slowly bring your awareness to the tip of the nose. And consciously breathing in and out and let this breath inspire some movement in the fingers and the toes. Rotating the wrists and the ankles. Moving the legs and the arms, waking up slowly, maybe bringing the head left and right. Drop the hands by the side of the body, inhale, lengthen. Grabbing the sunlight, exhale, closing the pose, bringing the sun into your body, into your heart and mind. Teacher in me acknowledges and bows to and respects the wisdom and the teacher in each one of you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much, Julie. You are welcome. You're welcome.